Oh, we found another grave. I haven't found any berries yet. What's this one got in here? That one's got a ghost! Look out! Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox. Welcome back to more Dart Starve. Now, we died at the end of our last video, so unfortunately we have a, a little bit of work to do. We we kind of, uh, I played in between videos a little bit to get caught up to roughly the same spot that I was in before. Um, but I'm not sure I have entirely everything that I had before. I definitely don't have the fire staff that I had found last time, which was like a super cool weapon. Uh, it came in really handy too, actually. But um, as you can see, I have done some exploring in this particular map. I started, uh, I think I started way up here somewhere, and I kind of wandered my way down. Uh, at least I think that's what it was. I thought it was in the middle. I don't remember exactly. But I've kind of set up camp down in this forest down here. Uh, from what I've understood, apparently the, the better place to set up camp is, is, or set up your base, is generally more like towards the desert areas where you have access to other resources that you can't, you can't get as easily. But for now, this is where I'm, I've, I've got my little base set up. I'm gonna do some more building here to try to get things a little bit, a little bit better off. Uh, I, I want to make a pressure cooker, or a cro no, it's crock pot. That's what it is. I'm gonna make a crock pot so that we have the ability to cook some better food than what we have. I did get a chance to play some Don't Starve Together the other night, so if you watch that on the live stream, uh, there were some good tips and stuff to, to learn how to play the game a little bit more there. Playing with some people that have a little more experience than I do, which is, you know, not not exceptionally hard or anything. Uh, what do I want to make? So I'd like to make the alchemy machine. We have the science machine already, but for the alchemy machine, we're going to need gold. What do we need here? So we need gold, cut stone, and, and like wooden boards. I only have two gold nuggets so far, I think. Uh, and I do have one monster meat, but let's try and maybe see if we can make that crock pot instead. The bee box, drying rack. Okay, the crock pot, we're going to need uh, charcoal. So for the charcoal, we're going to have to start a little bit of a fire. Because I don't think I have any charcoal. Uh, I got, do have some living logs in here, which is interesting. And manure. Hey, manure! <laughs> I've got poop! S something about these games that always having to collect poop. We also have quite a bit of silk, because I killed a whole bunch of spiders in order to get back to this place where I'm at now. Which is kind of cool. So the... Alright, little bunny. Um, uh, my food's in a decent position right now, but I, I could always do with more. Let's try and make... Let's try and make a little trap here. I'm gonna set this trap, like, right here if I can. Hopefully... We can catch that bunny on his way back to his home when nighttime falls. I'm just going to leave that one be. Uh, we're still early in the day, so we have lots of time to kind of look around and try to find stuff. Uh, I need to make charcoal, though. So let's... I kind of want to start a forest fire but I, in order to get the charcoal, but I want to make sure that if I do this, I'm not building a forest fire in a place where it's going to cost me my life. <laughs> so, Or, like, burn out my whole area. So I, I guess if I, if I set it over here, this is going to make a horrible mess, but I'm going to make a forest fire right over here. Let's see, we're gonna make a torch. And then I'm gonna take the torch and I'm gonna light this tree on fire. And then run for it! <laughs> it's gonna spread fast. It's also probably gonna spread pretty wide. That, you know, I might have maybe picked, picked some trees that maybe weren't so close to the fire there, or so, like, so clustered together so the fire will spread so easy, but eh, what are you gonna do? <laughs> the fire's raging, but. I do have at least some stuff I can grab here, so we can really quickly grab a bunch of charcoal. This will let me make a crock pot, which will come in super handy. Oh man, I really burned out a large part of the forest in here. This maybe wasn't such a great idea. <laughs> Look at all these dead trees. At least I'm gonna get a good chunk of charcoal off of it. All right, I got a pretty decent chunk of charcoal. I kind of feel I feel a little irresponsible burning it down this whole section of forest. I'm gonna run around and plant some of these pine cones here, so we can regrow some of these trees. And that way, uh, it'll give me an opportunity, too, to come back and harvest these later if I need to. I mean, not that there aren't a ton of trees in this game. Probably do fine without doing this, but I did burn down a pretty big swath of trees in order to get a little bit of charcoal. So I got 25 charcoal out of that mess. Not bad for just a little bit of work. I'm gonna get this butterfly. Here, butterfly. Here are you. Ah, I need to get him to hold still long enough I can hit him. Come here, hold still. There we go. Nice. I'm gonna eat that. Thank you, Mr. Butterfly. I suppose it could be Miss Butterfly. Whatever. Uh, I have a shovel ready, so I guess I should dig up this so I can transplant it down to my little my little area here. Where's my map? Um, yeah, so we don't have very much built up down here yet. I have this little farm plot. Oh, uh, the little bunny went in his hole and I missed him again. 
And I don't think I have any carrots, so I can't I can't catch him with that. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to make some carrots. Or find some carrots or something anyway. Uh this actually this plot over here, if I throw some manure on it, I can I can probably grow a carrot out of this thing. Let's just grab that. Throw some manure on here. Give me a carrot. Oh, I got a corn out of it. That's interesting. Alright, we'll take the corn anyway. I suppose that's something. Uh, throw a little wood on the fire, because night's going to be coming very soon. Get that roaring. Um, I guess I'll make some... Well, actually, I'm going to hold on to the berries for now, because I want to make a crock pot. Let's see. In the food section, if we look under crock pot, I need, oh, I need more twigs, and I need more, some cut stone. I think that'll give me the cut stone that I need. No, I need one more cut stone. Where is it? Aw, uh, really? I'm all short on stone. How do I run out of stone? Oh, there we go. Alright, so this gives me the three cut stone that I need. But I'm still in a place where I need more twigs. Darn those twigs. Oh my goodness, a lightning strike just set the forest on fire! Um, um, I guess I didn't, really didn't need to start a fire on my own. The lightning took care of that for me. Oh my goodness, so I found some, uh, some more twig bushes here. Saplings, I guess they are. So I found some more saplings, and I dug them up, and I got some twigs out of it. So we have plenty of twigs now to make that crock pot that I wanted. And actually, there's this, these headstones out here, too. I didn't like it here anyway, that headstone says. Let's find out what this one's holding. What is that? A gnome? What? Who do the gnome? It must be some kind of religious artifact. <laughs> it's literally a little garden gnome. <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, apparently, I'm hungry, too. I don't know what I just got there. Ooh, I got a red gem. It sparkles with an inner warmth. All right, so I think I can use the gems to make things like fire staff and stuff, maybe. Can I, can I keep digging over here? What's the deal with this? No. All right, I dug it up, so it's dug up. I guess that makes sense. Look at all this wonderful charcoal standing right in the forest here. All right, I'd like to... Uh, I got a good chunk of twigs now. I guess I should probably... should probably head back with my, with my haul here so I can plant my new garden of twigs. And that will give me an opportunity to kind of harvest things a little closer to home. Oh, yeah, we got lucky. We actually caught a rabbit in our little trap, so that works out perfectly. Now, i got to get rid of some of these saplings and stuff I have here. So I've got a whole a whole pile of these saplings I can plant. So hopefully we can get a little more material closer to home instead of having to run around looking for these twigs all the time. Oh, come on. Sweet. All right, so we've got a whole bunch of those saplings planted, so we got a, a closer source of twigs once those finally start growing. Uh, I'm going to kill off this poor little rabbit guy. Uh, and then I think we've got all the materials we need now in order to make our crock pot. Oh, I've got full inventory, though. Hold on. Uh, let's put the gnome in here. I still have no idea what that's for. I wonder if it's just supposed to be a decoration. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's kind of neat. I kind of like having that little gnome. I'm going to build maybe a floor here, and we can put a little gnome on it. We can, like, keep our little place, uh, like, friendly and warm and stuff or something. I don't know. Oh, my tummy's rumbling. Oh, I'm hungry. Um, we need to make food. But first, let's see if we can make a crock pot. Um, where's my materials here? So I'm going to need this. No, oh, we need this. And we need this. And then... If we go into food... Under the crock pot. Yeah. Go, go, gadget crock pot. Um, where should I put this thing? I don't know where to stick it. Whatever, we'll put the crock pot over here. I'm going to need to kind of chop some of these trees back a little bit farther so I can make room for more berry bushes too. Because only that, that one little berry bush is not really going to cut it. All right, so we've got a crock pot. With that, I can cook. Um, do I have enough berries? I only have, I have two berries. One piece of meat. If I had one more berry, then I would be able to make, like, some meatballs or something, I think. The trouble is, I'm not really familiar with all the recipes, so I, I don't know how this all works. Um, some people were giving me some tips on recipes when we were playing in the live stream for Don't Don't Starve Together. And I remember how to make meatballs with the monster meat and uh, three berries, but I, I wonder if I can use, like, Berries or vegetables, or if it has to be specific. Ooh, suspicious, suspicious track. I think that might be for another co-elephant or something. I guess that would be kind of cool to get a hold of. Let's grab this. Might as well grab this. All right, it's gonna be dark any minute now. I better get back and get a get a fire going. Otherwise, I'm gonna be lost in the woods, and that would be really, really bad. Where's my camp? It's not too far away, but we gotta hurry a little bit. At fuel. Ah, safe for another night. Ooh, just in time, too. 
plant this thing. All right, so we've got lots of charcoal left over. I don't really need that so much. What else can we make in here now? So I noticed that in the Don't Start Together, some of the stuff you can make is a little bit different than what you can make in uh, the single-player version of Don't Starve. So I know that at some point we're going we're gonna to have to deal with some hounds too, which I'm not super thrilled with. How's the giant rabbit and all his stuff? If you build a rabbit hatch, a rabbit hutch, does it just magically... Happy home. Let's see, happy home for your avian friends. I wonder if, like, if you build a rabbit hutch, does it just automatically get a giant rabbit inside it? Or do you have to, like, catch a rabbit and put it in there and then deal with it that way? I mean, I don't know what the deal is there. All right, so we could use a backpack, probably. Let's uh, let's take a look and see what we can make here. Where's that? Ham bat, grass suit, marble suit, football helmet. Oh, the, that's where the football helmet is. For some reason, I couldn't find it before when I was playing uh, Don't Start Together, but I was looking for it actually in, like, the clothing kind of stuff. Beekeeper hat. Where is the backpack? There's the backpack. All right, let's make one of those. So we can carry a little bit more. That'll come in handy. Uh, I am getting a little hungry again, so I need to watch out for that. Maybe maybe set our trap up here again. I don't know how often these rabbits respawn. But we'll set our trap out here and see if we just happen to get a rabbit wandering into it. Can't hurt to try. Uh, I do need some more food because I am hungry. Let's, let's cook up these seeds. It'll at least give me a little bit of food. It's not going to be anything awesome, but it'll help kind of save the hunger off a little bit so we don't starve while I'm looking for something more substantial. Okay. I need to find berries. Oh, we found another grave. I haven't found any berries yet. What's this one got in here? That one's got a ghost! Look out! Uh, can I fight the ghost? That's a, that's a good question. Can I kill a ghost? Oh, I hit it. I don't know if that, I don't know if that does any damage to it. Can you even kill a ghost? I don't, I don't know if I'm wasting my time here. Did I fight a ghost before? I don't remember. Oh, I did get it. Yeah, take that ghost. All right, well, we didn't get anything out of this, out of this graveyard. This little headstone. Age makes fools of us all. Yeah, doesn't it, though? Isn't that the truth? Uh, oh, good. We get some more gold here. That'll be handy. Ah, oh, I broke my pickaxe. Let's build another one of those. Uh, where'd it go? Oh, I got it equipped. We're good. Give to me the golds. I do need food, though. I, I mean, gold is nice to get and all, but that's not really what I'm after. I need food. Well, I haven't found any food, but we did find some spiders. Uh, mm -hmm. and there might actually be maybe we'll get some monster meat out of these guys. I guess that would be all right. Give me something, anyway. Even if it's just something I can put in the crock pot to cook up. Uh-oh, that was not good. Sorry. Got their attention. Oh, he got me. Ow, he got me, too. Come here, you. Unfortunately, once you start hitting them, they don't they can't hit you back. So, I mean, that's not so bad that way. Let's go and break this thing up. We've got quite a bit of silk already, though. I'm going to have to figure out a good use for it. I'm sure there must be some really good stuff you can make with the spider silk. I'm just not sure what it is. Oh, this one's got a warrior spider in it. So does that one. Oh, my goodness. All right, we're going to leave those alone for now. I messed with those guys before, and they were not they were not super fun to fight with. Need food. Show me the food. There's a butterfly. A bunch of butterflies. Nice if I could catch a butterfly. Oh, come on. Don't run away. Oh, he got away. He flew over the spider web. I'm not running in that. Oh, wait. We got a mandrake. Perfect. Mandrakes are awesome food. Oh, I feel a little bad about it, but I'm going to eat you anyway. Thank you, sir. Got another grave here. Let's dig this up. Hopefully we don't get another ghost this time. What do we get? Secondhand dentures. <laughs> I hope I get out of here before I need these. You don't say. There's some rot. We can take that. Use that to fertilize our plants a little bit. Well, my search for food was not overly fruitful. I did find some more berries. We also got some more spider meat here, monster meat. So at least that gives me something. Where's the berries I found? Okay, so with the, these three berries, I can take these and I can take the monster meat. I can now cook something in my crock pot with them. So I'll throw monster meat in there. Throw three berries in here. We'll make some meatballs. That'll give me at least something. Oh, no, I got to put some wood on fire. Oh, it's going dark. There we go. 
All right, so I've got that. I've got uh, another one of these little twig things I can plant here. A little sapling. Uh, I think I got another berry bush. Yep, we got another berry bush. So we can put that over here. No, I want to plant it. I don't want to drop it. Let me plant it. There we go. All right, so we got some meatballs. I wonder how long the meatballs will last for. I guess the green meter in the background is the one that kind of tells you how long the food's going to last. Let's put the meatballs in here for the moment. I need to find a better way to store those, though. Is there, is there something like a fridge or something I can make that will make these things last a long time? I know there's a drying rack for meat. Improved farm, bee box, drying rack, crock pot, ice box. There we go. Slows food spoilage. Okay, so if I can find some gears, and I, I had found them before in a, in a previous game, but now I don't have them. I have gnomes. I have no idea what those are for. I got some mold dentures. We got some spider silk. I don't think I'm gonna stack it. Okay, I can stack that high. Good. We got another spider gland, which is good for healing. Some niter. We got some gold. Up to four gold nuggets at least. That's something. More niter. So much to do. So much to do and so much to find. Okay, so I'm hungry again. I guess I should eat the meatballs. I didn't really need to put those in my bag. I could have just put them straight in there. All right, so and we've got this rot. Can I use the rot to... I can use the rot to fertilize. Okay. So we can fertilize the berry bushes so they don't look... They don't look so hard done by anymore. Oh, what did we... We grew a pumpkin. Oh, cool. All right, so I didn't realize that the seeds would give you, like, random types of things. But we got a pumpkin. I know there was something that I wanted to make before that used a pumpkin. I don't remember what it was now. Uh, was it in the tool somewhere? Regal shovel, hammer, pitchfork, razor. Oh, I can shave. Let's make this. I have no idea what shaving is going to do for me when I'm not in multiplayer. Because I know in multiplayer you can use it to create something that helps revive you. But I don't know what good it does me in this one. Maybe it just helps with my sanity? I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm at full sanity again. Which means I'm not getting nightmare fuel. Uh, which is maybe not the best thing, because apparently there's, the Nightmare feels really good for stuff, but uh, I don't really know enough about it yet anyway, so I guess it's not that bad. Chop down a few trees, make some room for more berry bushes. I chopped down a bunch of trees, but I just broke my shovel, so I can't get all the stumps out, but I'll get those cleared out so I have room to build, put a whole bunch more berry bushes over there. Oh, look at that! We found... Caught another rabbit! Hello, rabbit. Uh, let's set our trap down here again, because that seems to be working pretty good. I didn't even have to bait it. I kind of like that. So the rabbit happens to wander out and wander under the trap, I still get to catch him, which is really cool. Um, all right, what do we got in here? So we've got pumpkin, we've got some corn I'm gonna have to use, we've got some rot, mmm, rot. Nothing says delicious like rot. Oh, I should plant another seed in here. Get that growing. I really should make another farm plot. Uh, where's my manure? Oh, I don't wanna eat that. That was a mistake. Uh, let's see, so if we go in here, we can look at the improved farm plot. I'm gonna need more grass, though. I guess I need to plant some more grass close to my little my little living quarters here, because I, I don't have I don't have a good source of grass nearby. Alright, hunger's setting in again. I don't know what to make in here. So I, I think I can put one big meat, two small meat, and like a fruit or a vegetable. Can I can I fertilize this stuff anymore? Is it it's already fertilized. I can't do anything more there. I can fertilize this though. Let's do let's do that. Let's see if we can get some more food here. This does not fertilize as well as manure, apparently. Uh, where'd the manure go? Oh, I got the manure right here. Duh. There we go. Oh, we got more corn. All right, so I think I think I can make meatballs with the corn and the monster meat and maybe the pumpkin. I hope. Here's open because I don't know what happens if you put stuff in the in the crock pot that doesn't make a proper recipe. But we gotta do something here because I'm starving. And then put a pumpkin in. Cook. Please, oh please, tell me that makes something worthwhile. I really should look up some recipes for that. Uh, there's some twigs up here. I need those. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Doesn't hurt to have it all, I guess. Oh, I did make meatballs. Yes. Okay, so you can use fruit or vegetables. It doesn't have to be just the fruit. I've been focusing on the berries. But if I can get some more farm plots going, then that would probably be... Probably just as good or better. Eat that meatball. Gives me gives me a good amount of food. Let's plant some more seeds in here. And then uh, I'll make another farm plot again. So the improved farm plot takes six manure, which I don't have anymore. 
four manure for this one. Did I use up all the manure? No, I still have, I have six manure, so I have enough to make a, an, an improved farm plot. But I don't have enough grass. Gosh, there's always something. Oh, we got another bunny. Yes. Hello, bunny. This is working out really well. Set the trap there again. Um, I don't know whether I should keep these bunnies alive. Maybe I could make a rabbit hutch and put the bunnies in it. I don't know how that works, but let's find out. Uh, let's see. So, stone wall, pig house, rabbit hutch. Oh, man. How's the giant rabbit and all this stuff? So, that's that's not going to work. I don't have any bunny puffs. How do you get a bunny puff? I have no idea how to get a bunny puff. I haven't gotten it from killing any bunnies, I don't think. Maybe you actually have to, like, hit the bunny? I, I, maybe you can... No, it shaves on my dirty beatnik beard, but that won't shave the bunny. I thought maybe they could actually just shave the bunny fur off, but that's apparently not an option. All right, let's um, yeah, let's off these bunnies. Get the meaty morsels we need. Put those in here. Put the monster meat in here. I think if I could get some honey, then stale monster meat with the, these two morsels and a piece of honey would even help. But I don't have any beehives nearby. All right, so the bee box I need... Apparently, I need to catch four bees. How do I catch four bees without killing them? I guess I must have to use a bug net, maybe. So I can catch four bees. I need a honeycomb, and I need board. So before I can do that, I'm going to find bees. So that's that's not really going to help me any. If I kill off a pig, then I can get I can make a football helmet. I know. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Protects my brain case. Um, yeah. So I can't really go down anymore. We're also going to explore. Let's go back up to the desert here. Let's see if we can find some more beefalo. And I want to find out what the deal is over there, too. Find some more beefalo. We can get some manure so we can make a better farm. We're going to run into winter, I don't know, sometime in the next five or six days, I think. And that's going to prove to be a real challenge because I don't have, like, a store of food built up or anything. And I'm not I mean, I'm pretty sure the farms don't work in the wintertime. Hey, we found the beefalo herd again. So they're actually right at the bottom portion of this little... Uh, grassland or desert, whatever it is. Uh, and they're pooping up a storm, so that's good. I have no idea how to... I, I, from what I gather, you can tame these things, but I'm not sure what to do to, to manage that. I should probably look that up. But in the meantime, I'm going to gather some grass, too, while I'm up here, because I def desperately need some of this. And I probably should grab some of it to transplant so that I don't have to run all the way up here all the time when I'm looking for it. That probably makes more sense than just harvesting it. Oh, well, we spent the night up here in the grasslands. Didn't really have time to get back, but I did dig up quite a bit of the grass tuff, so I have a lot that I can transplant back down to where my little my little camp is. Now, I want to go find those beefalo again and see if they poop some more, because I only got four manure off of them, and I'd like to get a bit more. It's nice to have a good supply of that so I can make some more farms. I really need to tame some beefalo, and I'm going to have to, like I said, I'm going to have to look up how to do that so that I can tame some maybe for next time. We're going to have some beefalo down. Now, from what I understand, these things are useful for... I think they're fur and stuff, too. But if I... I don't really want to fight him, because I, I feel like he would just kick my butt. So I'm not, I'm not going to fight him right now. <laughs> um, if I can get a ranged weapon or something, maybe I, that might be worth it. I'll try fighting them and see what I can do. But there's... Um, there's something weird over here, too. I don't know what that is. So I'm going to go take a look and see what it is. I wonder if it may be like the Pig King or something. Oh. All right, so... It, I, th I think... Pick grass. That's a lot of grass they have in there. More burning. Oh, he's lighting torches and stuff. That's funny. Torch get low. All right, so I think I think I was here before, and these guys were kind of aggressive. So let's find out if... Go, you go away. Yeah, they don't they don't like me too much. So I'm not going to go near them too much. Because I don't want them to mess with me. They got all, quite the amount of grass they've grown there. Seems like I protect. Oh, what is this? We found... Boards. All right. So some unfortunate traveler met his demise. And what happened there? I'm losing health. What happened? Oh, I'm hungry. Oh, no. Uh, where's my food? I have, like, next to nothing. There's a log suit. I can get some protection. That's not going to help me from hunger, though. Oh, good. There's some berries over here. I can grab these. I know I should really be cooking these, but I don't really have time to do that. So let's just eat those. Uh, and I should dig up this berry bush. If I can find my shovel. There it is. Because I'm kind of always in need of more berries. So we got another forest over here. There's probably more berries that can be found in this place. But I kind of want to head back to my camp now. Oh, there's a swamp. All right, so we found the edge of the swamp. And more poop. If only I could eat the poop. <laughs> well, not really. I don't really want to eat that. 
All right. I need food. Like, really badly now. I guess I'm going to have to head back towards my camp because I know I, I have some meat and stuff back there that I can eat. I have those bunnies that I unfortunately myrtleized. Uh, and I've got lots of poop here that I can use to build some better farms and stuff too, so maybe we can grow more crops. But let's head back to our camp and transplant all these tufts of grass, build some more farming plots, have a little bite to eat so I don't die of starvation, ideally. I made my way back to our camp finally, and just before dark, unfortunately along the way I ate a couple of blue mushrooms because I was really hungry and I needed something to eat, and apparently those are not really good for your sanity. There's pomegranate. Um, I didn't get any honey. I guess we can plant a plant another bush over here. Oh, we got a couple bushes. Nice. Okay, so and then we can put some fertilizer on those. So we can get them growing well. There we go. So I got quite a bit of fertilizer, which is good, but the, now the trouble is going to be that it's coming up to nightfall here. I'm still kind of hungry, but more importantly, my sanity is not in a good place right now, which means that I'm probably going to have to deal with some shadowy things here in a minute as night falls. Um, I'm not really looking forward to that at all. Oh, speaking of shadowy things, can I hit that thing? Uh, I guess I can't yet. I can see it there, but my, I guess my sanity is not quite low enough that he's really paying attention to it yet. Uh, I need seeds so I can plant them there, but the birds aren't dropping any around here. Oh, look at all these, uh, all these twigs and stuff here. That's good. Store that in there. Now, it's also, we're running up on, on day 12. Oh my gosh, there's eyes in the dark. I don't like this at all. My sanity is not in a good place right now. Hopefully we can make it through the night. Um, I'd like to get these fireflies. Oh, there's seeds. Okay, let's grab the seeds. And then we'll take those. Oh, I already had some. Duh. Plant those in there. Let's use just a little bit of a little bit of this manure to fertilize this thing. And I'm going to need food sooner rather than later. There we go. Another pomegranate. That's good. Let's harvest this thing, and we'll plant more seeds. And these ones I'm just going to let grow, because I want to use my, fertil my, my fertilizer to grow something else. Two pomegranates. If I get one more piece of fruit, then I think we'll be in, in a place to make more meatballs, which would be good. Well, fruit or vegetable, I guess. I'm, yeah, definitely not in here. Our sanity is climbing a little bit, so we're, we're kind of holding on. Let's make some, some of those fancy farm plots now. I'm worried about when this thing's going to be able to attack me and I'm going to be able to attack it because... Oh, I actually tried to eat the poop. That's not a good idea. Okay, so in here we go into advanced farm plot. Wait, did I make it? Needs an alchemy. Alchemy engine. Oh, no, I forgot I hadn't made the alchemy engine yet. I need six gold for the alchemy engine. I only have four. That is no good. All right. I think I'm going to have to call it a wrap for today because we're, we're going to need to hunt out and find some gold so we can make that alchemy engine and we can start to make some more stuff. Uh, I am starting to establish a little bit more of a camp here. We've explored more of the map at least, so there's quite a bit of it explored here now. Well, I mean, I think there's probably still more to do. I hear whispers. My sanity is going a little downhill, but I have managed to, to, to stay alive so far. We got a little bit of food here anyway. I wish these berry plants would pop out with some berries. They seem to be taking forever. I think I'm going to have to, uh, let's take these morsels we're just going to cook them. Because I'm going to need the food. But I'm going to call it a wrap for tonight. We'll come back and play some more Don't Starve another time. Continue on with our single player game. Oh, look, we just got another bunny. Nice. Let's set that trap again. Where'd that bunny go? There he is. Oh, that bunny does not look like a very nice bunny. Oh, I got nightmare fuel. Really? From killing a bunny? Okay. I was not expecting that. Um, okay, you get nightmare fuel from bunnies. That's that's crazy. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll be back another time. We'll play some more Don't Starve. Thanks, everyone, for watching the video. I do hope you enjoy these. Come back and enjoy some more. I'm, as always, Cryptic Fox. Apparently a little on the hungry side and slightly insane. But I'll see all of you next time.